Hi, are you ready for some more info on the Ederol R09? Let's get to it. In this tutorial, we'll go over the menu settings on the R09. The menu screen contains the setup parameters for all of your recordings. First step, go ahead and turn on the power by holding down the power button until it boots up. Next, hold down the finder button and the menu screen should come into view. Let's take a few moments to go over the different parameters. Your first selection will be the recorder setup. Press your record button to select it. In this screen, you'll be able to choose between sample rates of 48 kilohertz. And if you cursor to the right, 44.1 kilohertz, go ahead and cursor down to choose the record mode. This is the quality and the format you're using. You have the choice between 24 or 16 bit wave file. Or if you would like to record as an MP3 file, then just cursor left to see all the different MP3 formats that are available. 320 kilobits per second would be the highest quality and 64 would be the lowest quality, but it would take up the least amount of space on your card. Press the Finder button again to get back to the menu screen and cursor down to Player Setup. Press the Record button to select it. If you've loaded up a bunch of MP3 files and you want to play them back in shuffle mode, then this is where you need to go. But you also have the choice between playing them back one at a time, single mode, and playing them back in order, sequential. Turn repeat on if you want it to start playing all your files again once it reaches the last file. However, you can do that from the front of the R09 as well. Press the Finder button to get back to the menu. Cursor down and let's take a quick look at the display setup. This is where you adjust the brightness of the screen and if you want, turn on the display timer. The display timer is an automatic dimmer for the screen. Moving right along, we'll go back to the menu screen and select Power Manage. Auto Power Off is an automatic shutoff switch and the battery setting here is where you'll select what type of batteries you're using. Press the Finder button to return back to the menu screen, and now let's select Input Setup. The record monitor switch only needs to be on when you're recording with headphones. This will allow you to hear the input signal through the headphones while recording. Plug-in power is used with condenser mics that need phantom power in order to work, such as electric mics. Now, back to the menu screen once again. The date and time parameter is pretty straightforward. Just go into the parameter, adjust it, and press record to set it. Now go back to the menu screen, and let's check out the SD card section. Select information if you want to find out the capacity of the card and how much space you have remaining. Formatting the card erases the entire card. For best performance from the SD card, it may be necessary to use this format function. The last selection in the menu screen is the factory reset function. This takes all of the parameters back to their original settings. Well, hopefully now you understand your R09 just a little bit better. If you want to learn how to name or organize files, check out the video on organizing your files and folders. Thanks for watching. Now enjoy recording.